Do you know the film score? Comment down below and see at the end of the video if you were correct. Of the scores. I am your host, Ish. And if you're wondering what we do, we talk about film scores. Today, we're going to be talking about Ready Player One, written by Ellen Silvestri. Before we continue, I gotta warn you, this video does contain spoilers. So if you don't want any spoilers, I actually have another video popping up right here. Remember, we take apart these film scores by category, so the categories are right there. Last warning. This video has spoilers. Although Ready Player One is a great film, the score did meet up to our expectations. It was dry and anticlimactic, and at some point, it was really confusing. In the originality, there wasn't too many original parts, and that's why I gave it the score of... The creator of the game named Holiday dies. The music that they put right when they're showing him in the casket does not make sense whatsoever. And the music right after that, it really doesn't make sense either. Now, when he passes, he starts a competition to find three keys. As he is explaining about the three keys and the competition, you can hear the influence of Lawrence of Arabia, but done really, really bad. Now, in the film, it has a lot of pop references from the 80s, and that is not what I'm going to be nitpicking at. Now, in film to score ratio, there's a few spots in there that doesn't make sense, and that is the reason I gave it the score of... <laughs> introduction to a new villain called Ira. The music is very awkward, and it doesn't match what's going on in the situation. And at that moment, they're also talking about the Orb of Ozavox, which doesn't make sense musically either. In technicality, it wasn't that technical. I mean, a middle school could almost play this music. I gave it the score of... <laughs> There's a raid scene in the real world, and the music was actually epicless and dry. There wasn't great melodies, and that's why I gave it the score of... <laughs> it was a really big missed opportunity in the second race. I mean, instead of putting some really good wonder style music, they actually put some music, but it did not match the film. Now, when Wade finally makes it to the finish line, the music that they put doesn't feel like you've actually accomplished anything. Now, the harmonies are not really epic, that's why I gave it the score of... <laughs> For the last epic battle scene, there is a very big speech from Wade, and in that moment, they actually missed a very big opportunity, and the music did not inspire you to bear up arms and to go to battle and lose it all. In general effect, I mean, it wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst, and that's why I gave it the score of... <laughs> Battle scene itself had a very big missed opportunity. I mean, it should have been a lot better than what it was, especially music. Storytelling, I mean, there wasn't really good storytelling in this, and that's why I gave it the score of... <laughs> There's a part in the film that has The Shining. I mean, the music is supposed to be kind of scary and a little bit comedic. However, they put too much comedy inside of this section. Emotional impact, I think they tried too hard to where they missed too many times, and that's why I gave it the score of... <laughs> now, in the film, there's a few backstories, and every backstory, the music doesn't make sense. For example, when the main character, Wade, is talking about his parents, the music doesn't really give you that emotion. Also, when he meets up with Artemis, the music they put as she's telling her backstory is actually a happy song. They tried to pull off a Pixar, however, they were unsuccessful. When Wade is taken to the Rebellion, and they're having backstories and everything, the music is actually a really happy song. He just lost his aunt, so it should be a different song. Adding all this together, it came out to a total of... <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Please hit that thumbs up, hit subscribe, and comment. It really helps me every time you do it. Thank you for stopping by, and the answer to the question is... 
did you get correct? Until next time, see ya.